I'm going to show you how to make your own GoPro pole like the ones that you can buy online. Uh, but first let's take a look at some of the stuff that you can buy already. Uh, let's start off with the cheapest uh, stuff that you can buy and that's the $7 uh, GoPro ex handheld extendable uh, pole and the reason I don't like this one uh, even though it's really cheap and nice for starters um, it's very bendable and it can break really easily if you go and read the reviews you'll uh, you'll see what I'm talking about so even though it's pretty cheap I do not recommend this on the high-end scale we have this remote pole uh, for 80 bucks and it has a nice integrated Wi-Fi remote housing which is nice is it worth the uh, 80 bucks um, I don't think so even though this is a nice sturdy pole that you're gonna use for a couple of years if you take care of it you can make the same thing for one-fourth the price and carry the remote on like a you can either attach it somehow or carry it in your pocket I'm gonna go ahead and show you just how to do that alright let's get into this so you're gonna need two basic things to make your pole and then several extras and I'm gonna start off with the monopod um, I'm gonna give you the links to get everything in the description uh, this one uh, it's a nice sturdy monopod I've been using this for several months now uh, really sturdy design and uh, didn't have any problems with it uh, $16 for this and you're also gonna need your tripod slash monopod mount for your GoPro and that's three bucks on Amazon so this comes out to about $19 shipped uh, with Prime and so basically just kind of screwed on nothing to it the little extras that I said is the non waterproof uh, housing and several linkage arms you, you don't have to use the linkage arms I just use them because I think it gives you a better angle and they're al already included in your GoPro I mean with your GoPro so why not use them uh, you can use it with the waterproof housing as well but this gives you better video quality so there you go and uh, another little advantage to doing it this way uh, is this uh, monopod extends uh, up to 67 inches versus most uh, well almost every uh, other pole that you can get uh, starting even from like seven dollars to all the way up to 80 bucks they usually only go up to 40 inches so if you want the extra length this already gives you the only downside is you, you don't have like a nice place to grip it you have to because you're gonna extend it and you're holding and you're holding it like right here so uh, not big of a problem it's just you don't have a nice comfy area to hold it but other than that it's nice